Colonial decides to go ahead and pay the ransom. $5 million. Now you have this much control and you only ask for $5 million in cryptocurrency. That should tell you something. Black Pill Red here. A little common sense, some questions here, but some things I want to start with first and build up to some stuff that were that I found out. All right, now this right here is is about the time that we that Trump and uh, had set it up to where we were basically fuel independent from the rest of the world. United States of America is now the number one energy superpower anywhere in the world. Trump said in Midland, Texas, we will never again be reliant on a hostile fire, uh, foreign supplier. We will defend your jobs. We will defeat, I mean, excuse me, we will defend the Lone Star State. And he goes on to say, uh, we unlock full energy potential of Texas and New Mexico, Trump said on Wednesday. Since my election, oil and gas production in the Permian Basin has more than doubled. Under the Trump administration, the United States has increased oil productions by 3.1 million barrels a day. But you know what? The media couldn't let him just take that win without saying this. And I put it in red. Well, it's actually pinkish color, but I put it in that color there. It says Texas has become a hot spot for coronavirus as the state now has more than 400,000 confirmed cases and more than 5,800 deaths. They had to stick that on there. This was back in July, though, July of 2020 when we were uh, fuel independent uh, or energy, energy independent from the rest of the world. So you didn't have to depend on outsourcing anything. And he was bringing the jobs, jobs back and everything like that. But one of the things that you know, the present administration did was when they cut down the Keystone Pipeline. All right, now by cutting down or stopping at Keystone Pipeline, you limit it to what was going on to other primary pipelines. I right, don't mean the ones that were already in existence. Like Colonial. Let me uh, open it up real quick. Bear with me. Yeah, this, this is a, a pipeline. This is a map of the way Keystone was supposed to go. Let me go ahead and uh, pull that up for you. And as you can see, this is, this is the Keystone pipeline. Now, the one thing about the Colonial pipeline, it's going this direction here towards the e the East Coast. So it controlled everything from, uh, I'm not sure if you, if I, I can't get over there with my hand, but right here in this region and, and up northern region up here, this is where it is. That's, this is the way the pipeline goes to that, that direction there. This is Colonial. And it starts in Houston as well. Just like, I mean, in Texas, basically in the Houston, right here in the Gulf Coast, just like the other one did. But this one here takes more of an eastern, northeastern route or route. And it goes this direction. Well, it was cut off. Why was it cut off, you ask? Well, they, uh, they said that they were hacked. Hold on, let me get in front of the camera. Hacked. And the ransom was totally... Five million dollars. Five million. All right. The company paid the hefty ransom in untraceable cryptocurrencies within hours after the attack. 
underscoring the immense pressure faced by the Georgia base operator to get gasoline and jet fuel flowing again to major cities along the eastern seaboard those people said hmm five million dollars in ransom but something doesn't something doesn't smell right with this right because when you think it's ironic that you shut down one pipeline but then all of a sudden the other one oh we got hacked we had to stop uh uh we had to we don't have any way of turning it on let me ask you a question let's say at your home you have a timer set for your sprinkler system to come on but the timer itself it's broken or somehow or another you lose power if you still want to water your lawn what can you do you go to the nozzle and you reroute it or you you, you do it by hand same thing there but don't take my word for it check out this video um the pipeline i've i've actually surveyed part of that pipeline the colonial pipeline before if they wanted this thing going they would send guys out and open the valves up and get gas flowing tomorrow they don't need the electrical instrumentation to do that so this is 100 percent a manufactured crisis they're trying to collapse the country and um you know, we need to we need to wake up and stand up to this because if we don't, we allow this to happen in Michigan and they, they continue shutting down pipelines, um, they're going to California the rest of the United States, and that's their goal. I mean, I spent 10 months working out there. I've worked in 46 states. Um, I, I'm a third-party pipeline inspector, and, you know, it's, it's awful what's happening to this country. Like I said, it's all a setup. This is all a ruse. But check this out. And this, this right here will piss you off even more. Now, remember, I told you, the media is just as much guilty as these other people. Check this out. All right. If you notice, what do you see? Somebody just tell me, what do you see? You see Colonial Pipeline paid hackers nearly $5 million in ransom. But if you notice, they're all different sites. You got Yahoo. You got CNBC. You got CNN, you got LA Times, you got Detroit News. They're all sharing the exact same headline. What does that tell you? I mean, if you were a newspaper, you would want to put something a little catchy so that people can choose your newspaper over everyone else. You're not going to share the same headline than anyone else. But the only way you would share the same headline as if you were getting your headline from the same source. Think about that. Make you think of it. How can you share the same pipeline with everyone else? And then this guy jumps up and, and, uh, and talks about you know, that them paying the uh, uh, the crippling, the crippling cyber attack. It was a crippling attack on uh, uh, our uh, lifeline in the, the southeastern region. And, and he gets up and try to justify, this is why we need to go green. This is why we need uh, uh, to uh, basically have electric cars and stuff like this. Now, being here in Texas, we've already proven to you that the windmills don't work. The windmills don't work at all. Then they want us to switch to electricity or electric car when China actually makes the batteries for them and the batteries are so high that it's not even worth getting the electrical car. And check this out to make it even worse. Now, they say they want to take all as many of the gas guzzling vehicles off the road but yet the one thing like a pipeline that's safe is, is safe for the environment and, and, and the way it's it's made the way the way they build it the materials they use it's not 
causing any type of exhaust to actually push film, I mean, push fuel from here to Canada or from Canada to here or wherever, however, you know, whatever direction it goes, more than likely from here to Canada or, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. That's not costing anything, but they want to pull all the trucks off. The road. They are really trying to do what the guy in the video said. They're trying to shut us down. They are. They are really trying to shut us down. And this is going on, uh, you know, under everyone's noses because we're too busy focusing on stimulus checks. That's it. We're focusing on that. We're not focusing on anything that or, or focusing on orange man bad. When then Trump is nowhere close to which, what these people are saying he is. But I can talk about this uh, uh, more, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm tired of giving this guy uh, any energy. So uh, I got a couple more videos I want to do. Uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, comment, comment. Give me a comment. If you have any, uh, something you want me to talk about, put it in the chat and, uh, I, I do my best to get to it. I'm still swamped in, in my IG. I got, I finally got through the IG, but it's still some questions, you know, I, I go through answer questions and then some people will reply to my reply and it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. So, but it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm actually, I've actually caught up with those on IG and I've added more people in, uh, on that. So if you don't mind, go ahead and give me a like, hit that like button for me, uh, subscribe and share, and uh, I'll give you guys a, a chat later. Peace.